What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fizzy Fitness. Let's start this video with Hunter Labrada, the guy who placed fourth at last year's Olympia. But he did not get the respect that he deserved. And there is a vast majority of people who think Hunter won't even make top six at the Olympia this year. And some even believe that he will be in 10th place. Hunter in an interview with Rx Muscle explained why he does not blame anyone for counting him out because he himself admits that he does not look as good in the pictures or as big in the pictures as he actually is. For the record, Ford and Honey Wambard said the same thing about Hunter. What are his own expectations regarding the Olympia? Well, just like Nick Walker, he is coming there to win the Olympia. And he isn't shy of expressing that opinion. Yeah, I trained to win all year. I'm going to the Olympia to try and win the Olympia. There was a little sneak peek of how his physique is looking at 15 days out. Take his back double biceps for instance. He has already surpassed last year's conditioning judging by this picture and we have already established that he is gonna be bigger. I do not recall Hunter showcasing this much detail before the Olympia last year. And keep in mind, back was a weak area for him. The front double is something that looks a little weird because of that lower midsection. Or maybe it's the angle. But great to see his confidence going into the third Olympia of his career. There are some great bodybuilders who are gonna place outside of the top 10 in 2022 because of how insane the lineup is. I think Blessing is very good. All those theories are now put to rest that he is behind the schedule because he changed very fast. We haven't seen a traditional front double or back double to analyze how much progress has been made in the hamstrings department. Because that's the area where he lacks the most. But then again, Blessing was in the offseason after winning New York Pro. That gave him more than three months to make some necessary size improvements. Now, are three months enough at this level? Absolutely not. But we can expect a better physique than what we saw in May. Hassan Mustafa dropping out of the Olympia due to health complication is definitely a bad news. But nothing is more important than health. There could have been a fatal incident if he continued anyway. Because of the extreme dehydration these guys go through in the final 24 hours before stepping on stage. And it's not like Hassan's contest season was stretched too far. He was supposed to do the Arnold Classic UK, but he pulled out to focus on the Olympia. So considering how much money and effort went into the prep, it must be heartbreaking. And at the same time, a wise decision. Ars isn't one of those guys who looks super freaky wearing a tank top. He doesn't have super impressive arms or very big shoulders that just stand out. But it does not matter. That's the beauty of comparative bodybuilding. You are judged on the stage and when Urs hits those poses, he is able to create such a great illusion because of that small waist, because of that insane core sweep. And now with the arms certainly improved up to a certain extent, he will look way more balanced. He beat the former Mr. Olympia Brian Ansley at the Arnold Classic, which was a huge accomplishment. I don't think he can beat Terrence or Chris this year, but I'm certainly looking forward to his battle with Ramon.
hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.